Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Hello, my name is Christy Womack, and today we will be discussing support management, more specifically, emails generating cases automatically or via the Acumatic Outlook plugin. And then later, we will discuss how to see some historical data on support tickets. First, you will need to set up a system email account. We're going to go into System Management, Email Preferences, System Email Accounts. We're going to use support in this example. So anything coming into support at revision2.com, a case will automatically be generated for us. In order to make that happen, on the incoming mail processing tab, we need to check incoming mail processing, create new case, pick a case class, attach to a business account or contact or lead. This will assist in the later discussion when we talk about historical data. When we receive an email to support at revision2.com, it will automatically generate a case and tie it to the business account and contact if there is one in the system. If there isn't a contact already generated in the system, the email will create a case without a business account or contact and it will be set to the default case type. Go ahead and save. You can also have email linked to an exchange server and have policies generated on how to manage those emails. Under System Management, Email Preferences, Exchange Synchronization Policies, we have some defaults set up on how you want your emails to sync within your system. In Acumatica ERP, you can synchronize contacts, emails, tasks, and events between your user's Exchange Server and Acumatica ERP accounts. Then, under Exchange Server Configuration, you can specify the quantity of records sent or received during each performed synchronization. You can limit the synchronized attachment size, specify the policy to be used. Also, the speed up the connection, you can specify the URL of the mail server. Additionally, you select which events will be recorded in the synchronizing log. You can select one of the following logging levels. Default it only collects the errors and warnings. Informational, it will collect errors, warnings, and basic events. Verbose, all records are recorded. This is the highest level of logging, or none, where nothing is recorded. If you have the Acumatica Outlook plugin, you can also turn emails into cases or log activity. I have a test email that we're going to use. If you have the Acumatica Outlook plugin, you can also turn emails which were sent directly to you into cases or log activity. I'm going to take this email that I received and turn it into a case by clicking on the Acumatica plugin and answering some questions. Since this email account is not tied to a contact or a business account in the system, all we can do is create a lead or create a contact. However, I'm going to be able to override that by putting a person in here that I know exists in our system because it's myself. Now we have other options that we can choose. We are going to click Create Case. Once we create the case, we have a few different questions that we can answer. We have our ID, we have our severity, the subject line comes from the email itself. I can also change this. And then I will click Create Case. This case will now show up in Acumatica. Here is the test email that we just created via the Outlook add-on. If I click on the case and I click on Activities, this email is plugged in already. I go in I fill the rest of the information out. It's ready to be worked as normal. Now, let's discuss how we can view historical data on cases. If we go into our business accounts and we select a business, we have different tabs we can look at. 
Let's look at our cases tab. For USA Bartending School, these are the cases that have been open with the severity, the status, and the reason. If we look at the activities tab, this will show all activities, be it an email, phone call, any of these activities that we would ever have on a case or just on a customer or contact, it will show up here. We can drill down a little bit further if we go into contacts. If you click on the contact and you look at their activities, out of the list of activities from our business account, there are three that are tied to this contact. And we can see that on the next contact, and if we look at their activities, they have two. So out of all of these activities, five of them belong to a couple of different people. Having all of this information in one system is so much quicker, easier, and more efficient to do an everyday job. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you.